question that I get asked the most by far is, Mark, what equipment are you using? Mark, what is that? Mark, what's what's this? Mark, what's that? What are you? What is this? Mark, what is it? Shut up! I'm about to tell you. I feel like when people do these videos, they have some sort of bullshit royalty-free background music playing underneath. So I'm I'm just gonna. This is a Boss RC505 loop station. It has five channels. Each channel can be overdubbed. Uh, I, I haven't reached a limit, so it's a lot of times. These two knobs control the input FX and the track FX. The input FX affect everything directly coming into the looper as an input. My voice is affected by this. And the instruments are affected by that. Once I actually lay a track down, that knob over there controls the tracks that are registered on the channels. Each of these knobs have three assignable filters, uh, which you can choose from a number of filters. There's not a ton, but they're pretty good for what they are. So they, they get the job done for me. Right over here, we have an M-Audio Axiom 49 key keyboard, 49 velocity sensitive keys, so you can press as soft or as hard as you want. And then we have eight assignable drum pads, also velocity sensitive. These knobs, buttons, and sliders can all be assigned to various MIDI functions. Um, I, I don't use them right now. I may in the future, okay? Let me... Let me work at my own pace, all right? Here we have my MacBook Pro. It's a great machine. And the software I'm running is MainStage. MainStage is a live performance environment for Logic Pro. So essentially, I'm running Logic Pro through MainStage. Within MainStage, I have uh, various plugins, virtual instrument libraries, and drum kits, which I can pull up here. I've assigned them by category. I've got my drums, I've got my percussion sounds, I've got keys, bass, synth, uh, various sound effects, orchestral effects, and then a little guitar plugin down here, which I very rarely use. The drum kits that I've put together over the years, I've done using uh, the Ultrabeat sampler, which is a sampler that's available within Logic. It essentially allows you to assign any number of samples and sounds to not only the keys on the keyboard, but also the drum pads. And you can invoke them at will, so you can just play some drums. The piano sound that I use is Cinesample's Piano in Blue. It's one of my favorite sounds ever. It's a virtual instrument, um, but it's recorded from a real grand piano, and not just any grand piano. It's recorded uh, from the grand piano that Bill Evans used to play on the Kind of Blue sessions. So it's, it's just a beautiful sound, and as far as I remember, I think they recorded something like 32 separate velocities for each key. Um, it's, it's just very expressive. It's about as close to a real piano as you can get on the computer. This instrument runs through Contact, which is a wonderful and powerful instrument library management tool. Um, Contact obviously runs through Logic, which runs through MainStage, and that's how I play it. There's a, a generic bass sound that I use quite often. The, uh, it's just the subby bass plug-in in Logic. Uh, it runs through EXS, which is, you know, a synthesizer. The Rickenbacker sound that I use, which is just so tasty, this is uh, also a contact instrument. It's from Scarby, and they make a lot of um, vintage virtual instruments that they record from real ones, and they do it very, very well. So that's a Scarby Rickenbacker plugin. The Wurlitzer Rhodes instruments that I'm using are also from Scarby. Uh, it's part of the classic electric pianos pack or something like that. And uh, anyway, they've, you know, again, recorded real Rhodes and Wurlitzer instruments, and they just sound so warm, and you can adjust them as you wish and make them sound 
crunchy or clean or give them a click or take the click away. There's a number of things you can do with them, and uh, and they're lovely. I also have a bunch of synth sounds and bass sounds that I've pulled from Massive, which is a Native Instruments synth that is extremely diverse and comes loaded with thousands and thousands of sounds that you can fuck with and tweak to your will. So to summarize, I have my computer, which has main stage, logic, contact, massive, all my instruments housed there. I play them using the M Audio Axiom. The drum pads are the keys. That signal gets sent to the looper. I can record that direct in to the channels, and then that goes out to whatever output I want. Right now it's going out to a computer down here that's running open broadcasting software, which is what I use to record all of these videos. I used to use a camcorder, but I had a lot of problems with volume and not being able to play as loudly as I wanted. Um, I switched that out for this laptop and a Logitech C920 webcam, which is fine, produces relatively decent quality and it's not very expensive. So that's my thing in a nutshell. I hope I've covered everything. Uh, if I haven't, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any additional questions. And uh, other than that, I'm going to get back to pooping on it and I hope you do the same. I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.